Uh, this is sort of interesting. Uh, I do a fair amount of work with Apple, and uh, I, I, it, they're, they're very secretive, and they just sort of put me in a room, and uh, they ask me all these questions. It sounds bad, but, uh, uh, and they haven't given me an Apple Watch for free, which I was disappointed with. But uh, <laughs> I, I have been walking around with a watch that's broken for about half a year, so my wife knows I need a new watch. Uh, so, uh, but their vision of the future um, is that if I was seeing Eric for high blood pressure, Right now, he comes into my uh, clinic. I, I, I work in a very kind of down out area of Toronto. I have like a security guard in my waiting room. So, so his blood pressure would go up with that. Uh, often there's a white coat hypertension. His, his blood pressure probably wouldn't, but, uh, uh, um, and, uh, and it actually probably, I probably have the wrong data in my clinic. So what will happen in the future is the watch will actually read his blood pressure. I'll be prescribing him an app uh, that will follow him. It'll data visualize what his blood pressure is uh, in his home. Um, one of our whiteboards will come in and say, hey Eric, um, you know, it, it's a silent illness, high blood pressure, and uh, um, I don't know, if, if, you're, if your heart's pushing against a high pressure system, it gets to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, and we don't want a muscle man for a heart, we want a, a long distance runner. And, uh, and put it in ways that he understands. It'll drop the DASH dig, uh, diet in there, and, and uh, half of people stop high blood pressure pills after a year because it's a silent illness, and it'll actually track that. Um, and it'll data visualize it back, and he'll be able to share it with his book slash wine club or, or whatever he wants, uh, other people. Or he can just look at people his age and gender and compare himself. Uh, a summary will come to the pharmacist in my practice and uh, we can tweak it up or down. Do, do, you, do you see what I'm saying? So you see how different that is? And, and the point is, is that health is about habits and about our daily habits, not about seeing me four times a year. And, and if we can kind of, the phone's with Eric every day, and if, if that can kind of nudge him, Siri's actually gonna come on in a Jewish mother's voice say, Eric, you've been sitting for four hours, time to get moving. So, um, 